You are now entering the Queen Up Chronicles Talk Zone, the place where crowns are corrected, kings are supported, and the love is real. What up, Jay? Queen Up! We're moving, we're grooving, we're building, we're loving, we're queening. We're queen kings and queens. Welcome to Queen Up Chronicles Talk, and welcome to the Royalty Room. Thank you so much for tuning in. And you know what time it is. It's time for the Royal Tea. All right? So I need you to... Ring the bell, you know what it is. So the royalty is, I don't know who needs to hear this, but the royalty of the day is, sometimes it's you. Yeah, sometimes it's you, sis. Sometimes it's you, bro. Yeah, I said, bro. All right, now, I'm sure you've had this friend who complains about everything in their lives. Every failure, everything that goes wrong in their life is someone else's fault. Listen, sometimes it's you. You need to evaluate yourself. Everybody can't be the reason why you didn't pay your car note. Everybody can't be the reason why your business failed. Everybody can't be the reason why you didn't have enough money in the bank. Everybody can't be the reason why your marriage met its demise. Everybody can't be the reason why your children don't like you, right? You have to take responsibility for your own actions. It is what it is. So again, sometimes is you. Do a self-evaluation. Do you ever notice that when you're talking, your friends get quiet? Yeah, because sometimes it's you. Do you ever realize that when you're talking and you want someone's opinion, nobody gives it? Yeah, because sometimes it's you. No one want to upset you because they know you're good at playing the victim. You're an expert at playing the victim, and people are tired, they're exhausted, and they're really over it. All right? Check yourself. Sometimes it's you. All right. Oh my goodness. You hear that? All right. Y'all know what it is. It's time for breaking news. Let me get my glasses. So breaking news. It's been reported that there is a rash of grown men wearing the Mohawk hairstyle. Now this haircut is normally reserved for three to five year olds, but men from 35 to 55 have decided to indulge in the haircut. Do we like it Queens? I need y'all to sound off because the Mohawk is a no hawk for me. All right, I don't appreciate it, I don't like it, and I think that men are truly di digressing. They're going back to their childhood. So sound off in the comments below, let me know what you think, queens. If you like it, do you love it, or like me, it's a no hawk for me. All right, so coming up, I have more great show for you. I have the CEO of Crescent Obsession, Cindy Bolshejor. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Welcome back to Queen of Chronicles Talk. I am Jay West, and I'm here with owner, CEO of Crescent Obsession, Cindy Bosejour. Welcome, Cindy. Hi. Thank you for gracing the royalty room. Thank you for having me. All right, so tell us about Crescent Obsession. So Crescent Obsession was born out of my daughter's love for croissants. Okay. And so I went to culinary school at Miami Dade College. Shout out to Miami Dade College. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> um, I went there and I learned how to make it. And mm -hmm. so I started making it in different flavors mm -hmm. and with different fillings. Okay. And I brought them to like family functions and mm -hmm. things with friends. And they were like, whoa, you mm -hmm. should probably consider selling these. Okay. And so at first I was like, no, it's just a hobby. But yeah. when they started you know, pushing it a little more, I was like, maybe I should take that a little seriously. And that's how right. Crescent Obsession was born. Oh, nice. So your daughter was the catalyst for starting the Absolutely. Crescent Obsession. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. How old is your daughter? She's eight. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> the, the kid. Yeah. Wow, who knows best. Right. Well, sometimes they know. And she's still my taste <laughs> tester, so I appreciate her. Okay. Well, I'll be your taste tester, <laughs> just so you know, <laughs> anytime you're ready. Oh, All I right. hope you are. Okay, so tell me about Crescent Obsession. How many flavors do you offer? So I offer six flavors, mm -hmm. banana pudding, mm -hmm. uh, red velvet, mm -hmm. butter pecan, mm -hmm. corn, mm -hmm. um, Oreo, and mm -hmm. birthday cake. And so those six flavors are the ones that people were saying that they like the most. And so I was like, I'm going to make this my dream team. Okay. I'm going to ask you the most important question. Am I going to get an opportunity to taste the dream team? Oh, absolutely. And okay. I hope you love them. I know. I know. I'm sure I will. So the motivation for starting Crescent Obsession was your daughter. Mm -hmm. But did you always have a passion for baking? No, I, I didn't. I mm -hmm. love to make savory food. And mm -hmm. so I love the creativity of doing that. Mm -hmm. And so when I started doing croissants, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I started bringing my creativity to that and I fell in love with it. And okay. I hope people can see that and taste that in the products right. from Crescent Obsession. I'm sure I will. 
Don't worry about it. So, okay, so how long have you been in business? Well, I was dabbling since mm -hmm. the beginning of the year, but officially in business since October. Since October this year? Yes. All right, congratulations, Queen. Thank you. All right, Crescent Obsession was born, birth date, October 2020. Yes. During the <laughs> pandemic, no less. Yeah. All right, so there's even power, passion in the pandemic yeah. that you can bring forth. Right, I absolutely. It. So it was during that time that mm -hmm. I found my creativity and I found my stride. So okay. even though everybody was down, it, it yeah. helped me to come up. Right. It was a motiva motivating factor right. for you. Right. I love it. it. Okay, so Crescent Obsession was born October 2020. Where do you see it going, the business? So for, for now, I love that I'm able to do what I do right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, I eventually want to have a storefront, but most mm -hmm. importantly, a food truck. Okay. Because then I can get it to as many people as possible. Exactly. So that is my aim. Exactly. So we need to get it out to the masses. Yes, okay? everywhere. And the food truck would allow you to move and maneuver to different right. events, different event spaces and yeah. places that you can right, you can make contact with the new customers. Right. Who's going to enjoy the Crescent Obsession. Yeah, okay, get their belly full. It. I love it, right? Okay, so tell, like, if someone who wanted to go into baking, the croissant industry, what would you tell future entrepreneurs who would want to do something like this and who, who are somewhat incredulous to starting a business? Um, that it's okay to get started, mm -hmm. that there's going to be a lot of bumps along the way, but mm -hmm. if you keep at it and mm -hmm. you keep yourself motivated and encouraged by the people around you, mm -hmm. everything is fine. Okay. Because it appears you've been supported from the beginning. Oh, yeah. So has that support been maintained or how is that going right now? The support seems to be growing as people start to see, okay, there's a black girl making, you know, croissants. They're like, <laughs> right. what is this about? Right. They start tasting it and they're like, well, this is authentic and mm -hmm. I like this. So the support is building and I really appreciate how much people are starting to come in and support okay. me. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so you talked about the amazing six, your, your, your featured mm -hmm. croissants. Do you have anything for the adults? Oh, during the different months, I have mm -hmm. different specialties. And this month in December happens mm -hmm. to be the specialty of spiked flavors. Okay. And so there's rum in one, and mm -hmm. there's orange liqueur in another one, mm -hmm. and Bailey's Irish cream in another one. So those are the flavors of the holidays. Nice. I love it. So something for every family member. Yes, from okay. the kid to the adult. Right. So if you want to get a little tipsy. A little bit. Crescent Obsession got you covered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So listen, I want to taste the croissants. Mm-hmm. So when we come back, we're going to take a quick commercial break because, yeah. girlfriend, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. I haven't eaten breakfast this morning and I'm looking forward to tasting your delectables. That's awesome. All right. So when we come back, can we do that? Yes. All right. All right. So we're going to take a quick commercial break. Thank you so much for tuning in to Queen of Chronicles Talk. When we come back, we're going to be here with Crescent Obsession, Cindy Bose Jour. Stay tuned. Up, the Cheating Guide from a Woman's Point of View. It is my second offering to the literary world. I'm not promoting cheating, I'm not condoning cheating, but if you decide to indulge, these are the rules. Available on Amazon. Welcome back to Queen of Chronicles Talk. I am Jay West, and I'm here with Cindy Bosejur of Crescent Obsession. And I'm a little hungry, y'all, so let's get it popping. <laughs> what we got here, Cindy? So we have our six main flavors on mm -hmm. the Dream Team. Mm -hmm. This is sweet corn. Okay. This is birthday cake. Okay. This is banana pudding. Mm -hmm. Red Velvet, mm -hmm. this is Butter Pecan, and mm -hmm. Oreo. And these are our main flavors, but we mm -hmm. have specials during the holidays, mm -hmm. but here's our, our dream team. Okay, so happy holidays. Yes. Yeah. All right, <laughs> so listen, I would have my viewers to vote and decide on what, <laughs> which one I want to try, oh, that's but honey, we ain't got time for that, yeah. right? So today I'm going to try first. I'm going to try them all. all okay. Right? But right now I want to try the banana pudding. Let's go. All right, let's get in there. So let's crack it open so you can see the goodness that is inside. Oh, it's falling apart. That's mm -hmm. how I like it. That's how, it's, that's how it goes. So here we go. Here is your filling. Mm -mm. Here is the banana pudding. So go you going in it. with me, girlfriend? Are we, I'm just, Come on, I'm I a solo. go in with you. I need you to go in with me, boo. Cheers. Yeah, right. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, see. <laughs> All right, let's cheers. Cheers. All right, that's how you toast us to a croissant. <laughs> All right? Mmm. Come on, girl. Mmm. It's amazing. Mm. So, my mom told me don't talk with my mouth full, but I'm going to talk with my mouth full today. <laughs> right? Light, fluffy, flavorful, definitely a palate pleaser. Yes. Girl, you got it, you got it going on, boo. No, <laughs> thank you. All right? Mm. Well, I'm going to take another bite before we go on with the interview. Hold on. <laughs> I love it. Oh, look at that. Oh. Mm.
you have a lover that's, and that's what makes it, and that's what I'm tasting in here. Yeah. The love, the commitment, the passion. Yeah. It's all in the croissant. All in there. I love it. All right, so I'm going to put this one down. Boo, but now give me the second flavor. What are we doing? Um, let's go with the birthday cake. Okay. Oh, you can hear that. That's the crunchy and crispiness of <laughs> the know. butter all throughout the dough. Mm-hmm. I can hear it. And my birthday was last month. Oh, hey. Yeah, her name was Scorpio Queen. Boo. Oh, yeah, both of us. Make no mistake November. about it. November. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm November the 8th. November 8th. You, ah! Yay, <laughs> Queen. <laughs> See, I should have known yes, the connection. Yes. That's why I love you. Okay, boo. But I'm, I'm going to love these croissants even more. Come on. So let's, let's get in here. Let's for the birthday. For the birthday. One time for the birthday, chick. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Happy mm -hmm. birthday. <laughs> mm. Girlfriend, mm. you got something here. I'm telling you. Listen, the holidays are upon us. Crescent, Crescent, I'm sorry, Obsession is available for your orders. And this queen is giving a 10% discount when you use the code Queen Up. All right, that's how we do on Queen of Chronicles Talk, all right, for my viewers, only for my viewers. Use the code Queen of Chronicles Talk. And what we doing, boo? We're giving them a 10% discount. Absolutely. All right? But with that being said, I got another croissant I'm going to taste. What we doing, boo? Let me, let me choose. Let's do, I got my eyeballs on the Oreo. Oh, <laughs> I love that. People see those cookies and they're like, let me get in there. Right. So we have cookie on top, mm -hmm. cookie in the dough, mm -hmm. and cookie in the filling. Show that beauty, baby. Show it. Mm. So let's put this down mm. and get you your piece. Thank you. All right. So we're going to do another toast. Mm -hmm. All right. That's how we do it. All right. Mmm. Oh gosh, cookies. Girl, look, look, look. Y'all don't see this. <laughs> they don't see this. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you. So it's Oreo cheesecake. It's cream cheese in there too. Mm -hmm. So you get all Oreo that cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So much, so much flavor. My taste buds are going crazy right now. Girl, I love it. Everything that you're doing. Oh my God. And again, I can taste the passion. I can taste the love, right, in every in every croissant that I've tasted so far. Thank you. All right, but I ain't gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat anymore. But what I need you to do, I need you to tell my viewers where they can find you, give all your social media information, because they need to holler at you, boo. Hi, on Facebook, you can find me at Cindy J. Beausejour, and at the handle Crescent Obsession Seven. I'm also at Crescent Obsession Seven on Instagram too. All right, thank you so much, Cindy, girl. I think I'm, I'm going to attribute these five pounds to you. <laughs> thank you so much for being on Queen of Chronicles Talk. I appreciate you. I will be placing my order. Can I use my 10% discount? Yes, you absolutely Okay, don't just leave it for them. Now, I need to be able to, right? I got you. To flex a little bit. Yes. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for staying tuned in to Queen of Chronicles Talk. If you saw a crumb on my mouth earlier, don't worry about it. Attribute that to Crescent Obsession. Cindy Bose, sure, no less, right? But I have a great show coming up for you. I have Ed Haynes of Chain Security. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Queen of Chronicles Talk. I am Jay West. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. And I'm here with Ed Haynes of Haynes Security. Absolutely. Welcome, Haynes. Absolutely. Hold on. I'm doing a security survey right now. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's safe. <laughs> Everything's good? We're good. Let's oh, thank go. you so much. Yeah, Do I need good. security? No, you're good. Okay. You're good. So tell me about Haynes Security. Okay, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, we're a small boutique firm here in South Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, probably the largest African-American owned company here in South Florida. Wow. With contracts on Dade County Transit. Okay. Um, you know, um, Miami International Airport, mm -hmm. and we're the prime contract on Dade County Public Schools, which is the fourth largest school district in the United States. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know your stuff, huh? I try. All right, so you have contracts with Metro Rail. Yes. Okay, so tell me about that. Well, the Metro Rail contract uh, in, Dade, in the United States, mm -hmm. Dade County is one of the only uh, companies mm -hmm. or, or co uh, counties mm -hmm. that subcontract out security to private firms. Okay. Every other major city has transit police. Okay. So we are a subcontractor to Allied Universal, mm -hmm. who is the prime contractor on mm -hmm. the contract. Okay. 
Okay. So we're one of three. Okay, wonderful. And then you also have Miami-Dade County Schools? Yes, okay. Miami-Dade County Schools. Mm -hmm. um, the school contract includes not only the 25 schools that we cover, mm -hmm. but we also cover all the maintenance facilities okay. uh, and the bus yards. Okay. So everywhere that you see buses stored, everywhere that they're doing maintenance mm -hmm. on the transit fleet for the school district, okay, yeah. we have security for all of that. Okay, nice. Oh, well, that is wonderful. So outside of those contracts, what other services do you provide? Well, we do executive protection. We do uh, bodyguard work for VIPs. Mm -hmm. We actually started doing that back 30 years ago, okay. uh, dealing with people like Tupac, Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. Biggie Smalls, Puffy back in those days. Wow. So we were doing executive protection mm -hmm. for celebrities. Okay. okay. And then we evolved into the uniform side of it. So now mm -hmm. uh, the uniform side is a more steady pace okay. situation because mm -hmm. it's an hourly situation. Okay. So that's why we evolved into that space. Okay. So if a civilian, a regular person on the street needed security, would you be able to provide that? Absolutely. We do uh, individual security. We do house tentings. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you name it, we do it. We also have a division that deals with cybersecurity, which is a big thing right now. Yes, it is. And we're also into um, not only the uniform security piece, mm -hmm. but we also handle other aspects of security as well. Okay. Uh, private investigation, we have that. We have a private investigation division. Okay. So, you know, we're kind of broad-based. Wow. So it looks like you're covering all the areas of security. Oh, absolutely. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Okay. And we're talking about the Circular Brotherhood, which is another venture that you have. Yes. And also the Martin Luther King Parade that's coming up. Absolutely. So we need to talk about that. Oh, yeah. Okay, can we expound on that? Absolutely. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Stay tuned in to Queen of Chronicles Talk. I have more great information to share with you here with Ed Haynes of Haynes Security. Stay tuned. Hold up, Jay. Hold up. Welcome back to Queen of Chronicles Talk. I am Jay West, and we're going to talk about the Circle of Brotherhood with Mr. Ed Haynes. So tell me about that. And also, I know you're involved with a group or organization, the Hunger Nine? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Well, it's one and the same in some ways. Okay. Um, the Hunger Nine is a subgroup mm -hmm. that came out of the Circle of Brotherhood. Okay. Circle of Brotherhood is a group of black men, mm -hmm. basically. Our motto is black men taking responsibility for their own community problems. Mm -hmm. uh, primarily made up of individuals that have served time in prison. Wow. However, mm -hmm. we have a motto that we are covered from the streets to the suites. So you got individuals <laughs> like myself okay. who sent them to prison, mm. and then you got individuals that went to prison, okay. some of which that have done um, 25, 30 years in prison. Wow. We just actually had a class where we're taking some brothers that came out. I don't know, uh, some of the listeners may remember people like Convertible Burt mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah. Bo Diddley, these kind of guys. Yes. Okay, those guys are out of prison now. Okay. Guess who did the training for them on setting up their businesses? Wow. Circle of Brotherhood. Circle of Brotherhood, okay. So what's happening is uh, through that organization, mm -hmm. we're taking these individuals who when mm -hmm. they come out, mm -hmm. the system basically is rigged for them to fail. Yes. Because nobody will hire them. Right. There's laws against them doing this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. So now they get frustrated. They got restitution to pay. They don't have the money to pay it because they can't right. get a job. Right. So then guess what? Recidivism. Well, we decided we're going to solve that. Okay. We're not going to ask for somebody to do it. We're going to do it ourselves. Yes. So those of us that are involved in the business community and understand how it works, mm -hmm. we take them under our wing and groom them mm -hmm. in how to build their own business. Okay. Instead of working for someone, create your own job. Right. Now we're taking lemons and turning them into lemonade. Oh, wow. I love it. And it sounds like it's a little sweet lemonade, too. Trust me. Just like I like it. Trust and me. And just lightly stirred. That's it. Put a little ice at it. Shaking. <laughs> not stirred. I love it. Yes. I love it. So... Convicted felons, they don't have to worry about going back into society and being given a job. No. You're creating an atmosphere where you're saying, hey, okay, you've had those instances where you were in trouble, you mm -hmm. paid your cost to society mm -hmm. via the prison sentence that mm -hmm. you right, endured. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So when you come out, the circle of brotherhood is mm -hmm. going to embrace you, and we're Absolutely. going to expand your horizons and establish a business for you. Absolutely. And what we've done is we've created, because a lot of it's not we're not the first ones to try to do something like this. Okay. But what we have done is we've created the environment mm -hmm. that's conducive to that. Wow. A lot of times what happens is people end up in situations and circumstances they're in because of their environment. Of course. They may be cool, but mm -hmm. then they end up in the wrong environment and mm -hmm. end up doing the wrong thing. Exactly. Well, what if you flip that? Right. What if you create the right environment right. and you put them in there? But that makes sense. A lot of guys mm -hmm. that were criminals mm. 
are probably some of your best CEOs. Right. Understand what it takes <laughs> in order to move exactly. a pharmaceutical operation right. in the neighborhood. <laughs> exactly. In a the neighborhood business. pharmaceutical business. Uh, a neighborhood business. pharmaceutical business. Right. These guys can count. They can manage. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. What if you take those skills and mm -hmm. apply them to something legitimate and legal? Okay. That's what we try to specialize in doing. Mm -hmm. And from that, we, we started taking responsibility for things like us shooting each other. Mm. Stop blaming the white man. Stop blaming the system. Yeah. Because they're not there right. when you shot Bobo down right. there in the, right. in the, in the bean. And Pookie. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, he wasn't there. Right. Who did that? You, we did that. <laughs> right. So we're going to take responsibility for that. Right. We don't need to talk to nobody else. Okay. So what we did, nine of us got together mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. and we wanted to do something that was going to impact mm -hmm. the community okay. in a way that had never been done. And okay. we researched it, and we found that it had never been a hunger strike done by a group of black men okay. for anything. Oh, wow. So what we did was we went in mm -hmm. and we took over a city block. Okay. And we did a hunger strike for 21 and a half days where we only drink water in oh, the middle wow. of a field so everybody could look at us and see. Okay. And we didn't leave that field for 21 and a half days. Oh, wow. Every day we had between 200 and 400 people coming to the site. Okay. Visiting us, asking what were we doing, why were we doing it. Right. And we got international. Mm -hmm local, national, and international media attention okay. on this with this group called The Hunger Nine. Okay, so the, co so the coverage was very valuable in that. Oh, but tell me, why would you go on a hunger strike? Well, once again, these are our children that are getting killed. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to come and save us. Nobody's right. going to change that, number one. Okay. But more than that, when it comes to the brothers mm -hmm. that have done time mm -hmm. and the ones that were pretty much right now legends in the hood yeah. from what they did back in the day. Right. They wanted to give back because they feel like a part of the destruction they see today, right. they created. They had a part in it. They had a part they in did. it. So Absolutely. this is this is their way of saying I'm gonna try to correct okay. what I did to destroy. Okay. And then mm -hmm. people like myself mm -hmm. stand with them shoulder to shoulder to say, We got your back. Okay. And anything that you don't understand about the system, we got that part. Okay. So that's how we create the environment. I absolutely love it. So after the 21 and a half days yes. of the hunger strike, what happened? Now, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. So in that 21 and a half days, each one of us uh, had different epiphanies. Mm -hmm. Mine was to create a network of economic empowerment mm -hmm. type activities okay. where you help individuals in whatever field that they're interested in mm -hmm. to build a business. Okay. So that's what I've done. Mm -hmm. You got individuals that were music producers okay. that went on and they started building uh, record labels that are producing positive rap. Okay. You got other individuals that do treatment facilities mm -hmm. that are helping people get off the streets and tom homelessness. Thanksgiving, they just fed, I think, a thousand people. Oh, wow. So, you know, people were asking us that question. Mm -hmm. Why are you guys out here starving yourself? It's not going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. But what they didn't understand, those 21 days was a launching pad for mm -hmm. things that were going to go on into the future. Yes. And they're happening even today. Nice. Oh, my goodness. So I appreciate you sacrificing yourself in the Hunger Nine for 21 and a half days. That's amazing. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, I want to expound on the circle of commerce. Okay. And I also want to delve into the Martin Luther King Parade, because I'm sure uh, I've heard that you're associated with that. Absolutely. Okay? Yes. All right. So when we come back, Queen of Chronicles Talk, this is what it is. Stay tuned. Queen Up Movement is offering statement t-shirts. Kings are essential. Queens are essential. If you have a valuable person in your life, let him or her know. It is important. Send a message to Queen Up Movement on Instagram for inquiries. Welcome back to Queen Up Chronicles Talk. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. And I'm still here with Ed Haynes of Haynes Security. And we're going to talk about the circle of commerce. I want to yes. talk, I want to hear more about that. Well, the Circle of Commerce is uh, a not-for-profit that we put together, here again, coming out of the Hunger Nine experience. Mm -hmm. What we realized was a lot of, in our community, black community, mm -hmm. um, we have the nonprofit community that we treat like a for-profit community, <laughs> Wow! which is why yeah. we run into problems, mm -hmm. because they're, it's, they're two different things. Yes. So what we decided to do was to give an example of what it's supposed to be like. Okay. So the Circle of Commerce is a nonprofit entity that we've created, okay. and then from that we have the Circles of Empowerment. Okay, okay. And that's why what we do is we network with other organizations, mm -hmm. such as the Dr. Martin Luther King Parade and Festivities Committee, right. to get to the broader masses of people, which okay. we're happy to have the Queen 
uh, up Chronicles involved in this year. Exactly. I'm excited about that. Absolutely. And thank you so much for extending the offer. Yes. All right, so you're associated with the Martin Luther King Parade. Absolutely. I'm the mm -hmm. Vice President of Development of the mm -hmm. Dr. Martin Luther King Parade and Festivities Committee, mm -hmm. uh, which is the longest mm -hmm. and oldest mm -hmm. and largest Martin Luther King Parade in the world. Wow. Here, right here in, in South here Florida. In Miami. Right here in Miami. Wow. Officially sanctioned by the King family. Okay. Uh, Dr. Marshall and Lady Jenkins actually went to mm -hmm. Atlanta and met with the King family mm -hmm. and got their blessings to start this parade mm -hmm. 42, 43 years ago. Oh, wow. So this thing has been going on consistently. Mm -hmm. And even now mm -hmm. that we have COVID, we're still going to do something, but we're going to mm -hmm. do a virtual parade this year. Wow. And we're going to do several events, mm -hmm. including an art contest okay. um, that's going to have prizes, cash prizes. Okay. We're going to do an oratorical contest, okay. which Queen Up, we're going to be working with them exactly. and Bleeding Ambition. Okay. Um, it's going to be magnificent. Exactly. Trust and I'm me. So, I'm so honored to be a part of that. But Absolutely. now, well, let me, this, this history lesson, you heard it here on Queen Up Chronicles Talk, right? History lesson in Miami, Florida, it's the longest running Martin Luther King parade in and the, history. And, and the 42 largest. years. And the largest. Right? And the largest. Correct. All right. Thank you, Ed, for that, yeah, that yeah. history lesson. Yeah. It's, it's serious. Okay. So is going when is the um, parade going to debut? Um, January, the I believe it's the 18th, mm -hmm. is when we're partnered with Channel 10. Okay. We've partnered with uh, WLRN has been there for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be aired on Channel 10. We're going to get an hour to okay. broadcast the parade. So mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're going to actually virtually, uh, we're going to pre-film okay. some floats and things of that nature. Okay. But then other individuals that normally participate in the parade, mm -hmm. we're going to take those individuals and we're going to do like little snippets, interviews on what Dr. King meant to them and how it encouraged them to participate in their business or services or whatever they do. Nice. And we're going to put all that together okay. as a long running parade sequence. Okay. And we're going to air that okay. that day. And what's the air date again? Uh, January the 18th, okay. 2021. Okay, wonderful. And on Channel 10? Channel 10. Right, on, so. on the Channel 10, I, I think it's going to be on their web platform, mm -hmm. um, but there's going to be a lot of different uh, interesting components. Wow. Oh, man, that's wonderful. So you got this thing all figured out. Look. Huh, pandemic what? Gangster. That's what we do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love it. I absolutely love it. So, Mr. Haynes, I need you to tell my viewers where they can find you, how they can connect with you. Absolutely. All your social media information. Okay, absolutely. So, here, you first, Circle of Brotherhood, circleofbrotherhoodmiami.org. You can go and find the Circle of Brotherhood, so you can find me there. You can also find HaynesSecurityServices.com. I am there, okay, there. And then the uh, MLK Parade and Festivities Committee.org is on uh, also. You can find us on, on multiple platforms. Uh, we have an art contest this year. You can go to the circle of artists without an S dot com. If you are an artist uh, and you want to get involved with that, go right there. All the information on how to enter is right there. And of course, you can always reach out to our media partner, uh, Queen Up Chronicles. Talk one, not two, <laughs> one. One. <laughs> okay. You can always reach out and uh, they'll get the message to us. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Haynes. I appreciate you for gracing Queen of Chronicles Talk 1, not the 2. Not 2. How you shared some valuable information. Oh, my goodness. I hope this was entertaining. I, thought the, I hope the information was inviting for you. Stay tuned to Queen of Chronicles Talk. We have more great information. And stay tuned for the next episode. For my outfit of today, I felt bright and festive. After all, it is the holiday season. And this fabulous curly unit was styled by Paradise Styles. And this pencil leg pan set in coral, my favorite color, is from Clove Couture. I absolutely love it. And I'm also wearing makeup by Cam Cosmetics. Thank you so much for tuning in to Queen of Chronicles Talk. Happy holidays. Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>